We're going to cross the desk now to Nick Rushworth. He's bringing us uh, Media Watch, a look at what's buzzing online and in traditional media. And you've been checking out the reactions to the major metro strike here in Paris. It's been a big, horrible, nasty day for commuters in Paris, hasn't it? With people trying to get to work as best they can, walking, uh, taking <laughs> taking the Shooting, bike, biking. whatever. Um, this is uh, Le Parisien Aujourd'hui en France, one of the main papers, and it's, it's headline there saying 30 million minutes is what they reckon is uh, the number of minutes lost uh, for commuters this this Friday in Paris, just the 1.4 million of them, just to get to work um, or not. Actually, the buzz, though, is not about the plight of the commuters as, as such, but actually the plight, as we could now say, of the French government spokeswoman, Sibeth Ndiaye, who um, made a, uh, a gaffe on French TV. She was speaking um, to BFM, uh, one of the main channels here, and said, my heart will be with all commuters as they struggle in the corridors of the Paris metro. And then she mentioned that, actually, I'll be uh, in my own government car uh, making my way to work. Oops. And, of course, Le Figaro uh, jumping on that, saying, yes, for Sibet and Dei, the government spokesperson, um, it's just another working day. But for the rest of us, it's not. Not the best look there. <laughs> but, of course, if there's anything to gripe about, you can always count on people taking to Twitter. What did you find well, there? Well, of course, yeah, the, the reworkings of that. You had a, here a sarcastic comment. Sibeth, um, what about the car share arrangement we have? Don't you want to pick me up at the Port d'Orléans, you know, which is one of the, the, the difficult edges of the city to get to and from? Um, here, another one saying, oh, I've just seen Sibeth and the I, the government spokesperson um, just popping out to get some bread. Um, of course, uh, that's a photo there of Kim Jong-un's uh, car. running bodyguards. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, of course, this is, uh, there's a very, very much a serious side to this. We've got uh, there the one of the unions, the CGC, uh, representing the Paris Metro workers saying, we will mobilize. This is just the beginning, the start of a, a season of strikes against uh, President Macron's uh, plans to reform the retirement system, as we've been hearing. He wants a standardized approach, not 42 different regimes. So the, the, the Metro drivers knock off work at the end of their career at 55. But in the private sector, most workers are leaving uh, their jobs at 63. So uh, discrepancies. Gird your loins, Paris residents, because there's probably much more of this coming. Uh, Nick, another story you've been looking at is the continuation of the protests in Hong Kong as well. Yes, it's the Mid-Autumn Festival now in Hong Kong this Friday with people giving out mooncakes. Among them, Carrie Lam, the chief executive there. We can see one tweet of her popping out just to see people in a retirement home and give them some mooncakes. Um, there you can see uh, inside, but then outside, what do we have? We have have a, a significant uh, police presence for her. Um, so that ongoing tension uh, reflected actually in the gift of uh, mooncakes, the free uh, press, the Hong Kong Free Press, saying that some of them have the words be water on them. Be water is a reference to um, the philosophy of Bruce Lee, the Kung Fu uh, film star, who is obviously from Hong Kong. And his whole philosophy in life was to say, um, be fluid. Don't go where your enemy expects you to go. Um, so dodge, dodge the hits. And that's become a slogan for Hong Kong. Um, so you know, the, the, the mood very much trying to find uh, resistance in whatever, whatever way possible. Um, it, there you can see them more closely. Um, I want to go to um, The Guardian here, um, which is saying that um, protesters inside China, in, for example, in Hunan province, are, are finding it very difficult to get beyond the great firewall of China. Uh, when they set up WeChat groups, uh, they quote Chen Ziming, uh, saying that he's, his, his chat group to try and express support for um, um, people in Hong Kong has been uh, knocked down uh, 20 times. Um, so an, an indication of just how much the mainland is, is, um, is, is putting pressure on people within China, not being being able to follow what's going on in Hong Kong. And this movement nearing the 100-day mark now. Uh, Nick Rushworth, thank you so much for Media Watch tonight.